Hey there, this is Jennifer Angel. Welcome to the week of January the 8th. So this week starts with Mercury, the planet of communication, education, creativity, squaring with Neptune. Now a square is traditionally a challenging astral aspect. However, you know, between Neptune and Mercury, not so much. Although, you know, it does bring a message with it to be somewhat realistic about what you choose to do and what you want to achieve in the time that you have available. Of course, you know, you can do anything and everything, but perhaps just not all at once, okay? So this is a message that comes through about the importance of prioritizing and pacing yourself. Now, midweek, the sun will trine with Uranus, and this can open up chance meetings, connections that can literally just come out of the blue. And there's also a new moon with the sun and the moon in Capricorn. This is going to provide extra added intensity and power just to bring forth and create and just to make happen anything that's high on your priority must do list. Now, Mars uh, will sextile Saturn, and this astral aspect between planets influences possibilities, options, and opportunities. So this is really going to help, um, you know, business-minded people, particularly with Saturn involved, and just to get things in place as, because Mars will then help you to push forward and just capitalize on opportunities, Okay. Mars will also be in what's called a trine aspect with Jupiter. This is another amazingly positive interaction between these planets. Like Jupiter is the planet of abundance and expansion, and Mars is the motivator uh, and the energy that helps just to get things done. Uh, the trine is sort of all about, you know, meant to be situations, connections, coincidences, or serendipity that crosses your path. So pay attention. The week will conclude over the weekend of the 13th and the 14th with Mercury in Sagittarius. And as is, this did go retrograde back into Sagittarius and it now it's out of retrograde and going forward, it's making its way back to Capricorn, okay? This is a great position for Mercury, for planning, organizing, just getting your goals set for 2024 and just achieving some clarity as you document your goals, wishes and dreams. Um, um, and just document on, on them on paper, which helps to just make them materialize, all right? Okay, so let's go through each of the signs, starting with Aries. So the new moon, Aries, is going to indicate some change at work. So you want to get ready for action. Productivity is your key to success now, so get organized. Uh, a, you know, a lucky break can just boost your bank account now as well. So, you know, pay attention to that. With love, a soul connection can happen now. Pay attention to chance meetings. You just never know, right? Taurus, it's time to make your dreams a reality, Taurus. Yay. Okay, so less thought, less thought and more action is needed just to move ahead now. At work, you want to focus on what provides you satisfaction as well as financial return. You know, and when it comes to matters of the heart, logic has no place. So don't try to make sense out of love. Just sort of feel it. If it feels good, just keep going ahead, okay? Gemini. So the new moon is a great time to review and plan your life, Gemini. Okay, so, you know, you know what you want to achieve and now it's time to put it into action. It's also a new start with money and other people's resources can, you know, give you a sense of security now, which which is important. Okay, and with relationships, communication is your love language. Use it, all right? Say how you feel. Don't get too logical about it. Cancer, when it's about money, cancer, just ask for what you want, you know. You, you just might get it. If you don't ask, then you don't know, right? And you could be in for the surprise of a lifetime right now of a secret admirer declaring their love to you. That's nice, hey? And in a personal situation, just be careful to make your own rules. You want to be a leader, not a follower. Everything is negotiable now as well. Leo, you can achieve your goals, Leo, but be careful that you don't feel your day just doing damage control, which just totally burns you out. 
Keep your focus on the big picture always. Networking with those who have actually already made it to the top um, can just help to move you into that A-list and that's where you're going to do the best networking. And with love, an intellectual union just keeps you interested. So let's see where that goes, okay? But that's the start to have that intellectual connection. Virgo, you want to go with the flow of life, Virgo. Once the pieces are in place, you know, and start to fall into place, there's like a domino effect of good luck that happens, okay? So stay positive and watch your anxiety levels, worry less, schedule some time for fun and getting together with friends. And, you know, it might be time that you reconnect or connect with family as well. And for romance, Love could be closer than you think, right? Okay, so for, for Libra, new moon Libra, the new moon energy highlights a family get together for you and a get together that's going to allow a fresh start, okay? All looks very, very positive. And when communicating, just say what needs to be said in a very direct, concise, but soft way, all right? Um, and don't get caught up, this is important, don't get caught up in other people's dramas. Sometimes it's even though we know you like to be helpful, sometimes it's just best to say impartial. Now, Scorpio, work harder, work smarter rather, not harder, Scorpio, when you're managing your money. So, you know, news of additional funds can come through now, so don't stress. Um, and relationships, intimate or friendships, uh, just look for people of substance, all right? So people have a purpose in life, not those that are just taking up space and just wasting your time, all right? Sagittarius, Venus in your sign sends love your way. Yay, we love that. Uh, your career is also operating in the fast lane now, so which means you need to focus on your highest priority. Um, set New Year resolutions to manifest them into reality, and the new moon will highlight a new money start as well. So all is looking great for you this week. All right, Capricorn, the new moon is in your sign, Capricorn, so it signifies like a new start, all right? That's what the new moon is all about. It's a fresh start, so your life is about to transform. So don't resist change that could improve your life. Try to go with the flow. Sometimes we don't get all of the details and all of the picture laid out, so there's some level of trust that needs to, you know, and faith that needs to come in here. So be prepared to move out of your comfort zone. Remember, if you want to change your life, then changing habits can put you into a space where you feel somewhat uncomfortable for a short period of time before it gets used to it. You know, you get used to it. And so basically love and money and fame can be yours now. So just focus on the future and not the past. All right. Aquarius. So you can impress someone now, Aquarius, with your quick and quirky mind and someone who can help you with money management. This is a great time for self-development and engaging in a program that encourages a positive mindset. So stay optimistic, all right? And Pisces, you're at work, Pisces. A positive attitude is going to just show you that you can overcome anything. And with planets Venus and Mercury both in your career zone, news of a new development is all very possible now. So stay tuned. You want to broaden your vision, think big, and just charge forward with confidence, okay? And with love, matters of the heart, try not to give mixed messages. You know, get in touch with, you know, what it is that you really want, how you feel, and stick with that. That's the message that you give people, okay? All right, so love and vision to everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye for now.